Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool puzzle shared to me by William on Discord. So it's white to play and mate in seven. So it's really cool. There are a lot of nice variations here, a lot of defensive resources that are being used. See if you can figure it out. White to move, checkmate in seven. While you're thinking about that, let me ask you to subscribe if you have not yet already. Half of the income I earn in this channel goes directly to charity, so every like, every subscriber, helps us out so much. Let's get to the puzzle now. So the first thing you might notice is that there's a lot of pieces kind of jammed, right? This pawn, this pawn, these pawns can't move. This king, very restricted, can only go to g8. This rook has some freedom, and this knight can move, but what are you really going to do from where you move, right? So maybe if you're like me, the first thing you thought was, move this queen to one of these back rank squares. And they probably both win, is what you're thinking. And you're right about that. They both do win. But one is mate in seven, and one is mate in like, I don't know, 20 or something. So there's a lot of going, there's a lot going on here. So let's just quickly take a look at queen b8. So that's a good move that will win the game, but it's not exactly the move that leads to the fastest mate. And they can block you with check, and it's not, it's not so simple. Right? If you make a move like this, trying to double attack, you just threw the game away because they can play the stunning move, rook d8, and now they're attacking your queen, and now they're guarding this back rank. You can't take this, by the way, because that would be stalemate. You'll see this theme come up quite a bit in this puzzle. So just an idea, just a sample idea. So queen b8 will win, but it's not the fastest way to win. And really, the beauty of this puzzle lies in the right move, which is queen e8. Check. Okay, so that's the first move. I'm checking you. You only have one legal response, which is you have to block with check. Always kind of fun when you block with check. Now, the king has a couple of options, right? The king can come to f8. They can go to f7. They can go to e6. Are all of those good? No. So f8 and f7 both will work, but e6 is a mistake, and it's the same idea as before. Why is this a mistake? Black has this amazing resource, rook d8, saying, hey, if you take me, it'll be stalemate, and you pretty much have to move your queen away. Something like here is an example. And now they have a fortress, pretty much. They play knight h6, they oscillate, they cover the back rank with their rook, and everything's fine. From the computer, it's saying like plus 0.5. I don't know if white can really win this, but to me it looks like a fortress, but I don't, you know, ask Magnus. So you don't want to go king e6. That's my point. So you can go to either of these squares, right? Well, if you go king f8, it's a little awkward, right? You're trying to threaten this knight, and you're not going to take it with your king. So, you know, black can kind of kill a move, just for example, and you'd have to come back out. You're not making any progress here. You want to do something like this? Well, you're going to lose the game now. Rook d8, and look what happens. Queen e8, because where are you going to go? You can't go out, right? That's how you lose the game. The knight's covering the square. So you lose the game in this situation. So you have to be careful, right? Just to show the sample. A lot of ways to go wrong. Just make sure you're keeping track. A lot of ways to go wrong. So avoid all that stuff. Don't go king f8. Why would you do that? Instead, king f7. Say, hey, I'm threatening to checkmate you on g8. How are you stopping this? Well, I've shown the idea a couple times. They have a good defensive resource, which is rook d8. Okay, now, you can't take this. Make sure it's clear. That's stalemate. I mentioned that already. That'd be a huge blunder. What do you do? Because the king like, is kind of safe here, despite how it may look, if this queen runs away. Take a second, think about it. Really good move. Now that I'm telling you that, you might figure it out. The move is h6. This is a great move. So what's happening here? The first thing to note, if they take your queen, saying, hey, look, a free queen. Nope, that's mate. Right? The whole reason you play h6 is to threaten this checkmate. Okay, so let's say they address this threat, and they do something else. They say, okay, I'll take your pawn. 
Well, now there's no longer a threat of stalemate because this pawn can run. So you can just take this and say, okay, and you're going to just push this pawn until you lose. Right? If you want to be really mean, you could just play like h5. You could just move the queen back and forth until they promote, right? But don't do that. That's mean. Like this, for example, right? just to show how you can do that kind of stuff. You're just waiting for them to promote. And once they promote, you can take for mate. But that's a little on the on the not so nice side. The idea is that stalemate is gone. So they play rook d8. You play h6 saying, I'm about to mate you. What are you going to do to stop it? Now, what options do they have? I showed you what happens if the pawn takes. I showed you what happens if the rook takes the queen. What other resources are there? Well, there's one pretty good one, which is rook d7. And you might say, okay, can I just take this? Yeah, you can, and black is trying to hang on. They're trying to hang on. Rook takes h6 check, and maybe they're hoping that the king has to go back and forth, and maybe the knight can keep hopping back and forth and keeping everything safe. Something like that. Does that work? No. Right? We can change the colors over and over again, but it doesn't work. So what do you play in this position? What's the simplest way to win? Try to see if you can figure this out. It's check, by the way. You just back up and say, okay, I'm going to checkmate you right here. What can you do to stop it? Well, they have one move to stop it, which is knight takes f5. Do you take this? If you take this, what happens? It's stalemate. Make sure you're seeing it. right? You just block the king off and nothing can move. So they're trying. They're being very creative. This is a good defensive resource. I'm going to put a great move on this. You can right-click the move and hit great move, just in case you didn't know. So what do you do? The simple, calm move wins the game. I love the way this puzzle ends. Simple. Queen f7. Saying, okay, now you have to move. And when you move, I'm taking somewhere. So pick your favorite place to go. And no matter what they do, it doesn't really matter. They can go back saying, hey, you're not going to meet me here. And they'd be right. Right? Don't do this. Well, you can, because they can run, but that's not mate in one. Instead, the simple queen takes g7 is mate. Super nice puzzle. I really think it's cool. I'd recommend checking it out all the way from the beginning just to see how it all progresses. So you first slide in with the queen, queen e8. They're forced to block with check. You go to the only square that makes any sense. You don't want to get into any of these shenanigans at the back. So then you play king f7. They have this nice defensive resource. And then you say, I see you attacking my queen. I don't care about that. h6, threatening checkmate on the spot. They try to be really clever with this, but it doesn't work. And they try to find another defensive resource of taking all the stuff, trying to stalemate. It doesn't work. Even though it looks nice, the simple move in the end wins it. Queen f7 saying, show me what you got, and they do anything. Move your knight to its favorite square. Mate. That is it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you to William for creating that puzzle and sharing it with me. I love when people share puzzles with me. It's a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, bye.